Hello everyone, um, this is EMM 3706, uh, Production Planning and Automation System. Uh, this is group 11, and this is our video presentation for assignment three group project. So uh, before we go any further, I would like to introduce everyone. Uh, my name is Hamid Rast Ramsari, my metric number is 195002. Uh, my name is Gwit Muso, metric number 191463. My name is Jal Ashraf, metric number 191588. My name is Salman B. Muhammad Ali. My metric number is 194894. All right. We can see. So this is our front cover. Thankfully, all of our group members are present here. Um, and without further ado, let's uh, start with the introduction. All right. So to begin, we're basically given a um, scenario about Putra Production Company. And they're having problems in terms of production planning and uh, their design capacity and their number of output being low. So we basically have to analyze and give uh, good reasoning as to what we think is the cause and why, how do we overcome basically. So as we know, there are many factors on how to run a company or business successfully. And the production planning aspect is extremely important. So the design capacity of each department has to be met uh, on a regular basis. However, if it's not met and the actual output uh, is not met, the company will run into issues and will be in big trouble. Now, just to explain, um, design capacity is basically the capacity of a process or facility as it is designed to be, which is often greater than the effective capacity. Now, effective capacity is basically the useful capacity of a process or operation after maintenance, changeover, and other stoppages and loading has been accounted for. So, we basically have done an analysis and we've uh, be able to determine basically what is the issue caused by, what do we think, whether it's by quality problem, absenteeism, or schedule, or balancing, so that the manager may take the appropriate actions. So this assignment has two parts and will be explained by the rest. All right. Thank you very much for the introduction. So let's, uh, as someone said, we split the report into two parts. One is part A and one is part B. So what is part, uh, part A? So for the part A, the problem statement, uh, as was briefly mentioned in the introduction, um, a poultry production company has a problem in production planning for bearings. Uh, however, uh, the design capacity per day is 80 products, but their effective capacity and their output uh, and their actual output is only 64 products per day. So we can already see they have, they're having a little bit of a wide gap between their um, production capacity and their uh, effective capacity. So uh, we have to analyze and observe this, uh, which of course uh, we need for the calculation for this. And uh, once we calculate, we need to determine uh, which one of these factors is mostly affecting this company, whether it's uh, a quality problem, absenteeism, or scheduling and balancing. In order to do this, we'll go for the discussion. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, the calculations for the efficiency, the formula is O over EC, right? O is the number of the products that we produce. So basically, which is 64 over EC, which is 64 times 100 to get the percentage, which is 100%, right? So from this formula, we can uh, conclude that we don't, uh, like we don't need to worry about the absenteeism. So next is the calculation for the utilization, which is O over DC, uh, which is 64. O is the same number of the products. So 64 over 80 times 100 to get the percentage again which is 80, 80%. Yeah, so basically we need to think of uh, the scheduling and uh, balancing to improve the efficiency. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. So yeah. that concludes our part A, uh, which we had to use a little bit of calculation in order to solve the issue. So when we go to part B, part B is a little bit different than part A. Uh, for this part, we were actually uh, requested to oh, search a recent article or journal uh, that describes how an organization is struggling with uh, one or more of these set issues that we just talked about. And we need to recommend uh, what is the best method for that company to avoid further or future problems. All right, um, so uh, we did some research. We actually came across of an interesting article uh, 
though it may vary if it's recent or not. Uh, this actually happened in 2013 when uh, one of the biggest uh, smartphone manufacturers in the world, Samsung, uh, got itself into a very controversial topic with their Galaxy Note 7 Edge. Uh, the Galaxy Note 7 Edge had actually battery damage problems uh, right out of the box. And in some instances, the ba battery actually exploded for some customers. Now, of course, uh, a company as huge as Samsung, of course, uh, this was the big top of the news at the time, and it followed a lot of controversy. Samsung uh, came out and stated that um, this was due to the lack of testing. Uh, now, of course, when a companies such as Samsung, when they make a new product, it needs to go through the sophisticated testings, and it needs to go through trials, runs, and errors, and simulation. However, um, one of the biggest issues was they wanted to uh, basically decrease the deadline uh, and start the sales launch early. And uh, one of the other aspects was that the pre-sales were actually increasing. So they had a high number of demand, and they wanted to short the, the deadline. This caused Samsung to skip some of the initial testings, which, of course, we found the problem of quality problem. This uh, immediately goes under the criteria of problem, problem issue, where the quality was not sufficient enough for the public to use. And the shipments were already spread out. And since this was a global shipment, some have estimated that Samsung actually faced $17 billion in damages because of that one small mistake. So, how can we do to, uh, what can we do to fix this? Uh, Samsung has done uh, some methods uh, so that they can uh, avoid this and for their and future products. But we also came up with some new ideas that we think uh, it could actually help the company to avoid this completely. So for that, we'll go for the discussion. So um, as Hamid's already mentioned, uh, the problem was in the test phase. They did not test it uh, well enough to um, you know, find the problem, which was the battery, right? So uh, we did come up with a couple of uh, you know recommend like solutions that they made, or steps that they might have taken that would have uh, prevented this from happening. Um, some of them included um, focusing on the aggregate planning, um, the aggregate planning uh, inputs, which would be uh, we said it was, there was three um, aggregate planning inputs that they may, might have uh, you know made uh, improvements to that. Uh, would have prevented this. So one would be um, where is it? One would be increasing the workforce. So by increasing the workforce, they um, would be able to boost production. And then the, um, the second one, which you know, it's uh, also tied to this, was um, increasing overtime. Which you know, they, the uh, company might either decide to do both, increasing overtime and increasing workforce, but you know, to a smaller degree, or do either either one. So this is either you increase the workforce uh, separately or increase overtime. You know, keeping the same workforce but increasing the overtime. But when increasing the overtime, the company should uh, look to add incentives such that so that the uh, workers are motivated. You know, so we don't have uprisings where the they say um they come up with things like you know the the being overworked while not getting any rewards. So um, both of these would uh, would give the company enough time to, you know, like since the production, the rest of the stages are, you know, they move faster, they would have more time to, uh, more time in the testing phase. You know, they, they wouldn't have to rush it. Change that they might have made, which is also uh, including the aggregate planning, would be um, adding subcontracts. By adding subcontracts, you would uh, take away um, the, or is it? You would take away a lot of pressure from the main workforce. You know, but basically, what I'm trying to say is, if they were able to, <laughs> if they're able to um, make changes by you know giving out contracts, they would be able to to um, have enough time. It, it, you know, it ends up in the same place. They would have enough time for the testing phase. So to conclude, uh, we did focus on the quality aspect of this uh, problem. Um, and uh, we did come up with a couple of solutions, which I just mentioned. Uh, but you know, this could be made. They should. The company should have come up with a backup plan. You know, uh, while focusing on this uh, um, solutions that we mentioned, and uh, that is it. That's all I got. All right. Thank you very much. So that concludes our whole assignment, uh, both part A and part B. Thank you very much. Thank you.